If there has ever been an MMORPG that is worth your time and your effort, it's this one right here. Guys, welcome to another video. I am not here to sell you this game. I'm only going to give you very basic information of what this game is, and then we'll continue with the gameplay. This game is called Darkfall Rise of Agon. It is a sandbox MMORPG. Hardcore, full loop PvP. Uh, open, massive world. Kind of like PUBG, if you're not used to these kind of MMOs. Um, a lot of fantasy, a lot of magic. Very complex systems. Different schools of magic. Different things going on a lot of you know anything you do in the game from jumping running to even resting all right uh to casting spells to using your melee weapons to using archery all those things level something up um and and they at the same time simultaneously level other things up anyways so i started the game i'm butt naked i started looking for resources and i run into this camp right and the world is massive. There's a, I'm sure there's a billion of these camps scattered everywhere. But I see this, this, this cobalt, right? I'm not sure how powerful these guys are. A giant spider already killed me. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to hit him with a, with a little lesser magic missile, right? And I'm going to do some damage and see what the damage is like. Oh, okay. Well, he's re the, the mob's receiving a good amount of damage, right? So I was feeling pretty confident. I'm over here hitting him with the, with the counter-strike peaks, the strafes, a little bit of shake and bake. Um, throwing some spells down range, hitting that center mass, you know, that, that fantasy stuff. I killed a few kobolds with my lesser magic spell, and, um, and I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty confident. So I figured, you know what, let me get up close and personal and see how they do with a melee weapon. Turn around, unsheath my sword. It's a leaf blade. It's the weapon you start off with and a weapon that you will never lose. When you die, you still have this weapon in your inventory. Um, it, it's not that powerful. But so far, it's, it's, it looks like it's a good cobalt killer. Let's take a look at this loot. I want to see what this, what this guy had. Oh, man. Damn, look at that. Some weapons, some basic, like, like goblin weapons. Ah, I got some armor here. Let me, let me equip this armor. It's noob armor. It's crap armor. It's probably about to be broken armor. But it's better than no armor, right? So I'm going to go ahead and skin this, uh, this node. When mobs die, they drop these tombstones. And these tombstones have the loot scattered among them. You have to either drag them or right-click them to put them in your inventory. So yes, you have to organize your own inventory. You have to organize your things. This is a game that requires patience. It, I, when you approach this game with, with true patience, you will enjoy the crap out of it. It's so in-depth. There's so much going on. And with the clan wars and territory taking over and the full loot battles going on, you know, you, you'll, have a, you'll have a RuneScape moment. And if you've never played RuneScape before, a RuneScape moment is when you kill a guy and when you loot him, he has something absolutely just amazing. And then that's it. You're addicted. That is a RuneScape moment. So right now, I'm just looking at the spears. I'm looking at the different weapons I just got. By the way, there's a billion weapons. There's a billion spells. There's a billion things. And I am not an expert, but I know a little bit. Now I'm going to go hit this cobalt with his own damn spear. There you go. There you go. Ah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't like that very much, but it's okay. So I go ahead. I'm going to loot this guy. And so what I decided to do here was I'm going to go ahead and kill all these cobalts. And I'm going to keep killing cobalts, right? Um, so I can get some gold. They seem to be dropping a good amount of things. Uh, weapons, items, things I want to stock my bank with, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on that right now. I just tried to eat that onion. Turns out you cannot eat a, a, a raw onion in this game. You can eat a raw carrot, but you can't eat a raw onion. Food is very important as well. There's, food stems into another absolutely complex system. Because food as well is very important in this game, especially when you're fighting other players. My favorite aspect of this game is the massive battles. Um, we'll get to that later. But right now with my new character, um, I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Mind you. In this game, anyone can... Ooh, look at this two-handed sword I got. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that shit in my number one slot. Who wants it? Oh, dude, this, this sword is fucking crooked. Hey, but it's going to get the job done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing good damage here. Stamina is kind of low. In this game, you got to manage your stats, your health, your stamina, your mana. Uh, obviously, stamina, um, uh, jumping, running... Um, Swinging your sword, uh, uh, cocking your bow, all those things cost stamina. Another cobalt down. So I'm over here. I'm getting a little, a little, a little loot happy, trying to loot and stuff. And, and I'm sure cobalts are about to spawn. The spawn rates are pretty good. I do like the spawn rates. The XP rates are good as well. I like that. 
All right, so so far I've obtained my PhD in cobalt killing. I've killed a shit ton of these guys. They're so angry. I've pillaged their village. I've killed their women and children. I've killed their men and uh, I killed everybody. So they're really upset at me. They're really mad. I'm gonna go ahead and loot this. Oh, lots of more enchanting mats, some gold, some reagents that I'm gonna need for magic, like this little mini palm tree looking thing. Scan it real quick. I'm not even worried about this guy. I, I, I know I'll wreck him. In two or three hits. Can't mess with you, man. I'm over here missing a little bit. There you go. Ooh, nice. What's this? I got 2,000 meditation. I completed a task of fighting kobolds that I picked up from killing the first kobold. And my great sword's leveled up. So you know what, man? You know what, guys? What I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate myself to two-handed great swords. So I'm just going to grab this one. Some cloth. Oh, look at this guy. This guy wants to fight me. You don't want to fight me, bro. You don't want to fight me, buddy. There you go. Dead. Knock him out. Ooh. Hey, this guy's pretty. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, crap. I gotta run away. No, I can't use a bow. Oh, crap. The oh, no. I can't even cast a spell. Because spells cost at least one or two stamina. I can't even jump properly. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm all bloody. Oh, they want revenge. Because I killed their women and children. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. No, no. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, my God. Oh, no. They're coming. I gotta jump. I gotta go. I gotta move. Oh, crap. Okay. So, I died. Big deal, right? All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo, freedom, nice. I hate loading screens. Okay, so. We're alive. We died, but we are back. Okay, I'm not Jesus, but I am a dwarf. So, our next objective, at least my next objective, is to go find my goddamn body because I need to loot everything that I worked very hard for before someone else comes and takes it or my body disappears before I can reach it. Now, that usually doesn't happen. Um, I think the body stays around for like, what, 10 minutes or something like that? So, I'm just gonna go ahead and run back to my body the run is going to be boring. As I was running back to my body, I found this tree trunk, right? This tree stump. So I went and looted it and I didn't get fucking Jack skiddly squat. So I continue onward with my journey to reach my body and regain all the loot that I worked so damn hard for. And I see what looks like a chaos chest. I was like, no way that's a chaos chest. Chaos chests are kind of like the tree stumps and, and all the things that are scattered that you can loot throughout the world. But chaos chests are special. They give you like awesome, awesome, awesome loot. So I'm finally approaching the supposed chaos chest. It's not a freaking chaos chest. It's a damn tree stump. But you know what? Whatever. We came this way anyways. Let's loot it. I did see a lot of iron nodes though a lot of metal ores metal metal nodes places where you can that you can mine for metal if you notice that the metal ore actually looks different from the stone ore oh what's this oh mushroom nice i got a lot of mushrooms already not sure what they're for probably cooking you know what i'm gonna mark this area because there's a lot of mines here so i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure I, I i leave that there marked on my map that's one of the great features about this game is that you can mark things on your map and as you explore you yourself create the map and that's pretty cool. So, so far my map has uh, this new location that I found that has a lot of scattered metal nodes. I was very surprised by how many metal nodes there are here. That's pretty cool. There you go. We're here. They got a nice little overview, some height advantage. Take a look at what's going on. Um, I'm about to go down there to get my body, but I need to regenerate my stamina. That will not happen to me again. That is one of the biggest worst things that can happen to you in this game is you run out of stamina that's why it's very important to manage your health your stamina your mana all right guys enough small talk i have enough stamina already let's go down there and see and see if we can recover my body got a little i know that these mana missiles work well on these uh on these cobalt so i'm gonna hit them the best way i can there you go take that there you go Ah, uh, yeah, you can do a little splash damage too. Oh, look at all these abilities I just got. That's good. That's, that means I, I let, oh, nice. I got greater magic too. Wow. My mana missile mastery has reached a new level as well. That's because I was using lesser magic. And once lesser magic gets to a certain point, you unlock 
greater magic. And greater magic has its own set of abilities and spells that are actually pretty cool. That's what I like about the magic uh, in this game. It's not your basic fireball, water ball, ice ball, fucking earth ball. No, the spells are very unique. Uh, I, I think this is the game with the most unique, diverse spells. Let me loot my body. I'm looting everything I got. They're shooting arrows at me. I don't care. I have stamina. I have health. I have mana. If they want it, we can run it. I'm looting everything, my bows, my arrows. I'm looking at a lot of things that I've looted as well, just taking a look at my inventory. And I have a scattered mess of things in my inventory. I don't care about them right now. Uh, when we get to the bank, I'll organize myself. I'm just going to run away. I'm going to cast a, a quick uh, mana to stamina. Or actually, uh, that was uh, mana to health. But I also did a mana to stamina. Meaning you can, those are called transfers. You have three major transfers. There's stamina to health. Meaning you take a little bit of stamina away and you regenerate a little bit of health. And then there's mana to stamina. You take a little bit of mana away, you regenerate a little bit of stamina. And then there's health to mana. You take a little bit of health away, you bring, you get a little bit of mana back. And, uh, and that's how those transfers work. You're going to be using those transfers a lot when fighting. Uh, right now I'm a new character. I'm not really trying to keybind or focus on a lot of things like that. But I do have some gear. I do have some stuff. What is this? What's... Yeah, this, I haven't seen this castle before. And I'm kind of crouching, not sure why. Uh, I know there's probably no players there. Uh, I would have seen some gravestones from some mobs. But I think there's some mobs here. And I think there's cobalts here. So I'm going to go see what's up. I'm going to go check this place out. You know what? I see this cobalt here. And I'm just going to start throwing missiles at him. Uh, this is a, a, a scavenger. I think I've killed a couple of these already. But I'm going I'm to go throw some missiles at him. Have a little mage fight. With the guy, he's shooting arrows at me. I'm dodging it. I'm shaking, baking Rick and Bobby right now. These guys don't want it. Yeah, I noticed that these guys aren't taking a lot of damage. There could be a lot of them, though. That's what scares me when approaching a new area. There could be a lot of mobs in there. And don't underestimate mobs. They will surround you, and they will kill you. Um, they do a lot of damage. In this game, if you get hit in the back or you deal damage to someone in the back, it's more damage. I think it's double damage. It's a lot more damage. You do not want to get hit in the back at all in this game. Your back is 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 super fragile. You have no spinal cord in this game. You cannot take a sword hit to the back. All right, well, some decent loot. Same amount of loot that we've seen before. I decided to take the bow. Uh, it's better than the dawn bow or the leaf bow or whatever, the starting bow that you get. You start off with a with a sword, a staff, and a bow, like I said earlier. Right, some, of, some of these guys. Yeah, they're taking damage. I'm hitting them. I'm hitting them. There you go. Okay, I gotta, you know, aim up a little bit more to compensate. And you gotta lead your shots. This game is very physics based. The arrows, the the magic, even the magic is physics based. There's a lot of item, a lot of magic spells that are, I guess, weigh a lot. <laughs> so they fall down to the ground, but they do a lot of damage. Now, so far, I feel good. I feel good about. Using my bow and, 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 and messing up, messing these guys up with my bow. Okay, this guy wants to go ham. Let's go. You got to know how to switch weapons too, you know. Um, when you're doing PvP, it's going to be a lot harder. It's going to be a lot faster pace. You're, fa you're facing a human being. Um, that's what makes this game great is the PvP. All right, here we go. Let's loot this sucker right here. Nice. Another bow. I'm going to take one of these. Yeah. What is that, rank 10? Yeah, I'm going to put that in my inventory. You can't equip it directly from the mobs uh, loot thing. There you go. Give me that shit. All right. I think there's a there's actually... I'm surprised we haven't run into a boss mob yet. Usually, like, if it's goblins, they'll be... Sur uh, the, the, the goblins would surround... Oh, there he is. There he is. That's the guy right there. Cobalt Raider. He hit me in the face three times. My God. I'm going to use my bow. Oh, no. This is not going to work. Oh, what? What happened here? Advancing as an archer. You have received 50 gold. Nice! I'm pretty sure that gold goes to my bank. Automatically. There you go. You cobalt raider. Man, this guy can really take a hit. Okay, I'm gonna chill out. I got I know I got a lot of arrows because I looted a lot of arrows from the uh from those other cobalts I was killing. Oh man, this is interesting right here. A little little duel, a little battle going on here. And this is how a lot of your battles are gonna be against players. They could be like this, unless they're very aggressive. If they're very aggressive, I suggest that uh, you run because they're probably very good. Um, there's some players on this game that are very good, very good at this game. And uh, sometimes it's gonna be very hard to kill people when you start off. Nice, he hit me. 
I'm wailing on him with arrows, but he, he seems to not want to go down. Made him with another arrow. Uh, yeah. And and as I do this, um, as I do this, um, I, I level up. I unlock more skills. Like you saw, I just got the disabling shot. Nice. Just killed the raider. I'm going to kill this guy too. I really like how the bows feel in Darkfall. Um, they have, obviously, they have arrow drop. When you do a transfer, you see I have no stamina. Do a quick transfer of my stamina to get myself ready. You see also the arrows extruding out of my body because he's hitting me with arrows. That happens with players too. Sometimes you're going to see a player completely covered in arrows. And uh, um, especially in those wars and those sieges. Oh, there's going to be a lot of arrows flying. There's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, siege equipment. There's all kinds of things that are going on in this game. The game has so much depth to it. Um, and it's just fun in general. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, finish this guy off. And I need to go to the bank, honestly, so... I'm gonna go hit that bank. Thank you guys so much for watching my part one of this video series that I'm making. as my first video series ever. Um, so thank you for watching. If you want to check out the game, it's Darkfall. Do not go to darkfallonline.com. That website does not exist anymore. It's called Rise of Agon. Uh, new and improved. Uh, great game, absolutely fantastic. What you're seeing here is footage for the next episode where we will be going into the major city. Uh, we're going to be going into the bank. We're going to be joining a clan. We're going to be doing the whole nine yards. This is a game where I take this character from day one to sieging cities and, and destroying opponents. Um, so please stick around, subscribe, watch my channel, watch what happens in the future. Um, I will be coming out with these videos. The thing is that it's a lot of footage. It's hours and hours of footage. I put in a lot of hours into this game. Um, and it's going to be all for you guys. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.